Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you a really quick tutorial, but it's something that I think a lot of people might find value in, and that's how to create a Facebook or a social media type video. A lot of times people want to include some sort of information on this, probably some call to make people want to actually watch the video, um, so they might, you know, kind of put clickbaity stuff here, but they sometimes put you know good information there as well and a lot of times this is a style of Facebook sometimes we'll just put what the video is actually entailing in these comments or in these black boxes on the top and bottom so I just kinda wanted to show you how to create that style in Premiere Pro you'll see if we go to the full screen here it's just really really simple and easy and this plays just like a normal video you can render it out and then upload it to Facebook if that's how you want to do it so let's get started on this first off we're just gonna go ahead and delete this layer and then we're going to go and let's just delete this whole composition, this whole sort of um, sequence here because what's really important is actually the sequence. So we're gonna exit out of the sequence and now we have no sequence. So first off, we're gonna take our footage and we're gonna drag it in. And you can see that it creates the footage like normal. It's a 1920 by 1080p comp. But we don't want that type of sequence. What we want is a smaller sequence. We want a square. The reason we want a square is because it's going to create those black boxes for us and it's going to allow us room that we can type in. So when we go, what we're going to go is up to sequence and then sequence settings. So we'll make sure the sequence right down here is selected, sequence settings, and then we're going to change the frame size from 1920 to 1080 to just 1080 by 1080 to make it a perfect square. We're gonna click OK. It's gonna warn you that we're changing some, some stuff around here. There's some, gonna be some clipping, some size changes. We're just gonna say OK. And now what you see is we have this square right here. We're then going to take the scale and we're going to drop it down until it perfectly fits inside this square, which is right about 58, um, let's see, 57, 56. Yeah, about 57 incorporates it. 56, there's a little bit of black on each side. So we're going to go with 57 scale right here. And now, as you see, the black bars are automatically created on the top and bottom. And now we have the footage that's still fully view viewable, just a little bit smaller right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unlink this audio so we don't keep hearing it. And then we can just you know scan through here. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to move into the workspace of graphics right here. So maybe you're on the editing or maybe something else, what you want to do is move into the graphics workspace right here. We're then going to go into the text tool. We're going to click and drag out a box that we want to type in. And then let's make sure that this is centered. So we're going to go into the essential graphics edit and then the text right here and make sure it's centered down here. And then we're going to type out what we want. Bus rides. And then you can divvy up whatever you're trying to type into both bottom and top. So we're going to go there and let's click on this. We're going to go into the selection tool. And let's center this a little bit better. A little bit more down. You can use the... Uh, go into here. If we want to really fine tune it, we can go into the settings over here. Um, and then change the position by points. So that looks about good. That looks pretty good right there. So what we're going to then do is just going to go into the essential graphics. We're going to click on this bus rides, hit control C, control V to duplicate it. Then we're going to click on it and drag it straight down. Once you start dragging down, hold down the shift key so that they are properly aligned. You see that I can't move outside of this perfect straight line down. We're going to drop it so it's centered down here as well. Then we're going to go back into the text tool. We're going to click and highlight it and we're just going to type our next part, our fun. And just like this, we have our video created. Make sure that it spans the length of the video that you want uh, to create right here. So you can span the length of whatever you're going to render out so that it's always there. And just like that, all you have to do now is go to File, Media, Export, and save it as any file that you want to. And you can now upload it to YouTube or Facebook or any other social media platform that you want and that you are trying to create this for. That is basically it on this tutorial. If you guys got any questions, uh, comments, or any suggestions for future tutorials, go ahead and those in the comment section below. I'd love to answer them or uh, try to create your tutorial. Uh, this was actually kind of a comment. It was a comment on another video that I saw, and I thought that would be kind of neat because a lot of people were asking, and it's pretty simple in Premiere, so I wanted to show that out. Um, if you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos every other day on Adobe-related products. So yeah, that's about it. Until next time, guys, see ya.